Hi, and welcome to B City, creating a city generator with geometry nodes. My name is Mike Hodgetts. I'm the head of CG for Simplates.com. We're a content library for virtual production car processing, and all of our work is made entirely in Blender. I'm a 3D generalist and technical artist, and I specialize in toolset development because one of the most important parts of our pipeline is our procedural workflow, such as cities or crowds or even traffic simulations, all harnessing the power of geometry nodes. And in this course, we're going to delve into the complex, technical, and for beginners, often confusing world of geometry nodes. I'm going to take you step by step through creating our own procedural city generator. We're going to start by laying out the roads and the sidewalks. We'll be adding dynamically changing lane markings and instances onto our sidewalks, such as street lamps and lamp posts. We'll also then be creating an entire subset of procedural buildings that can populate our city. This course built on the back of the fantastic Cubicity course by Kent Trammell. In that course, Kent created a number of low poly, stylized, and let's be honest, totally adorable city assets that were able to be assembled in a modular fashion to create an entire city layout. We'll be taking that one step further. Utilizing a number of the assets from Cubicity, we're gonna put them together inside of geometry nodes to allow us to procedurally control our entire city layout. Now this course is focused at more of an intermediate level. And if you are completely unfamiliar with geometry nodes at all, I would first recommend watching the opening chapter of Jonathan Lampel's Assemble course. In this, Jonathan breaks down the fundamental principles of geometry nodes, many of which we are now going to be applying throughout this course. Before we get started, however, I do want to issue a quick disclaimer. With the exception of perhaps Python scripting, geometry nodes is the most complex and technical part of Blender that you can learn. In fact, it bears far more similarity to programming than it does to any of the other aspects of 3D, like modeling or texturing. I can show you which nodes to use, but I can't wire your brain to work like a programmer. This comes with time and practice. So don't be discouraged if you get a little confused along the way. Take a step back and assess the problem logically, because at its heart, Geometry Nodes really is an exercise in problem solving and logical thinking. If you want to follow along with this course, I do recommend that you watch the entire thing from start to finish at least once before even opening Blender. This way you can become familiar with the processes that we're going to use before focusing on which specific nodes we're using and where we're putting them in the node graph. Make a pot of tea or coffee, grab your favorite snacks, sit back and enjoy. And I do hope you will enjoy this course and learn a lot along the way. So without further ado, let's get started.